Catch and Release Practice. This video shows how to handle catch and release fish, how to hold carp, and how to photograph a fish while causing minimum distress. The Wildlife Act makes it illegal to intentionally injure or kill an animal, so best practice catch and release is vitally important. After catching a hard fighting fish, it is good to rest it in the net before taking out the water, and many anglers now choose to unhook and photograph fish actually in the water. Species tolerant of low oxygen, especially large carp, can be damaged unless placed on an unhooking mat. You should always aim to keep the time out of water to a minimum, so get everything prepared in advance, ideally in shade and on flat ground. Soft cradle mats like this one stop the fish from sliding off, and if you cover them in water and keep them upside down, you can keep them cool. Hands need to be wet and cooled before being tucked under the chin and tail of the fish. They don't need to be lifted high for a photograph and you should never carry them back to the water in your hands.